Hey, in this video I'm going to quickly explore the new ambient control setting we've got in the Motion Brush on Runway ML, giving us yet another way of trying to control the motion in our AI generated video or animated clips on the Runway ML platform. And I'm going to try out various images, landscapes, portraits, different art styles, varying that ambient setting to see how it impacts the generated video clip and I'll share that process and the output. I have just passed the 30,000 subscriber mark on this channel, so that's a nice start to the new year. And thank you to everyone that subscribed over recent months. It's been really cool to watch the channel grow as I've tried to fit it in around the day job. Right, on with the video and the new ambient control setting in Motion Brush on Runway ML. Here we go. Okay, so here we are in Runway ML in Gen 2, and I'm gonna go ahead and load up an image. And I'm going for this underwater scene of a mermaid character with purple hair balancing some stylized CGI character with a lifelike look. And we've got some cool elements. We've got the water ripples up here. We've got the hair floating in the water and various air bubbles. So as before, we still have our settings where we can set the seed number, turn on interpolation, upscale and remove watermark, which are on by default. You can change the overall motion and just press generate, or you can go in and set some camera controls, including horizontal, vertical, pan, tilt, roll and zoom. And we have our motion brush, where we can go into our image, change the brush size, paint it in any areas we want to be affected by our motion brush. And then we have our horizontal, vertical and proximity sliders and our brand new ambient slider, which we can up from zero up to 10. And this applies a noise to the area that we've selected with our motion brush. So I'm gonna set it to halfway at five, press save and press generate. And whilst it does that, I'm gonna jump back in, change the ambient setting and drop it down to one, press save and press generate and then do another one where we're gonna put it up to the max at 10, just so we can compare the output. Right, those three generations have completed. This is the first one where we set the ambient motion to five. It looks pretty cool, the hair's drifting around in the water, we've got the bubbles moving around, the ripples kind of merge with the hair, and interestingly, we've actually got a slight blink on the character, which we haven't prompted via any text, so that's just Runway ML doing its thing. But pretty cool. Right, down to the next one. And this one we set the ambient motion to one. And there's very little motion, the bubbles slowly drift, the hair is actually moving quite nicely and there's that subtle ripple along the top of the water. So a much lower impact from that ambient motion. And then the one where we put it to the max at 10, we've got tons of motion, the camera's actually almost shifting quite oddly as everything seems to be shifting in that x y and z axis within the video so probably the worst result when you turn it up to the max for this particular image i did a few more generations and i really like the result of this one where i had the ambient setting set to 5.5 and then i added some camera movement with a zoom out of 2.6 and a roll to the right of 1.4. And I think the result looks really rich with those moving bubbles, the hair, those lighting effects. It just looks really, really very cool. Um, one approach to bring in some animation to the character's face might be to try using the motion brush, just painting the face and then using a text prompt saying eyes blink, close eyes, open eyes, things like that. And then combine generations, comping bits together using masks in Adobe After Effects to try and create the final shot that you're after. Cool, I'm now just gonna try out various images that I've generated in Midjourney, drop them into Runway ML and play around with that ambient setting, sometimes applying a camera control to try and create some cool images and just get an understanding and a feel for how that ambient slider and the amount affects the generated output. And I'll put some music on in the background. Happy New Year, here we go. <laughs>
Brooklyn.